to Witzerface Zoom TV. I'm Carol Smirkwood and I'd like to introduce you to my co-host, not that I need one, it's Kelly Willy Booby. Kelly, are you there? Good evening, Carol. It's so wonderful to be here this evening. Hi. <laughs> Hi! So lovely to see all of you this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Carol Smirkwood by name. Smirky by nature. <laughs> oh, and it's Kelly Willy Booby by name. Booby by nature. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Carol. <laughs> well, Carol, what a week it has been, has it not? Indeed. Indeed. And we have got some absolutely fabulous guests for you this evening, ladies and gentlemen. We really, really do. Our first guest this evening is our very own Witzerface Zoom TV resident gardener. It's Geraldine Fipossel. Come in, Geraldine. Are you there? All right. Hiya. Hi, Geraldine. All right, I've never done this before. Um, just uh, it's my first time on the telly, so um, I'll, I'll just let me know if I'm not doing it right. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I'm from Bristol, and uh, I, I've been doing um, um, no, no much as, as such as gardening. But um, uh, when I was eight year old, I, I got a packet of seeds and I put them in a wee box, and um, and it just grew from there. So I've now got a company. It's called the the Wee Bristol Windy Box Company. Hey. Aye, it's it's just it's just grown. <laughs> it's grown. <laughs> has your has your has your box actually grown or your company grown, Gerald? You know, or both. <laughs> both actually. Aye. I I grow hundreds of things. I grow I um I started off with wee seeds and all that and it just came up with flowers. But now I do all my, my pals windy boxes and I can grow anything in them. I can grow cactus and I can grow flowers and, and I can grow pineapples and trees and all that. Sorry, you can grow pineapples on trees. Pineapples and trees. Pineapples grow in the ground. Trees oh, grow I, in the ground that they grow up away. I knew that. <laughs> well, that's that's what I do, and, and and I haven't really done any gardening. I just do windy boxes, and it's just taking off. It's I've, I've, it's hundreds of folk wanting them now. And um. What would you say to any viewers watching this evening, Geraldine, uh, who've never actually had their own window books? Um, how would they go about looking after that? Is that the way you talk all the time? You feel yeah. possible? <laughs> all again, all again. Uh, well, what, what I, I go in on my pals, right? And if they haven't got any, I'll, I'll, I'll discuss the windy. You know, and then I, I size it up, and then I, I can and I can then put the things in that might suit the windy. You know, like um, trees and all that to cover their, their, their house and all that. Geraldine, are you actually in one of your window boxes? The new? I know. Looks like it, but done it. <laughs> I just hung as the hangs I've grown. I've grown hundreds of hangs. It's just it's just taking over my house, and I can't see where I'm going now. That. <laughs> but uh, but no, it's 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 really taking off and. And I, I'm really surprised, not that. I feel like, feel like David Attenborough here. <laughs> but uh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a big surprise to me. And um, I'm just, it's, can just, it's just going to go stratosphere. Just going to go stratosphere, Carol. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. it, it's so lovely to see local people producing local things for Bye. other people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I either brilliant folk and fossil. They love it. They love my windy boxes. Nobody's done it before. Nobody's done it in Glasgow, Scotland, or nothing, or all over the world. I've, it's just me who's done all these things in the windy boxes. I patented it and all. You plot, you plot, Geraldine. You plotted it. it. Patented, patented it. 
oh, I, I really do normally like a red, but actually I've gone for the natural look this evening. No, Peyton, Peyton did it. That. That's wonderful, isn't it, Carol? That, I, I really do like that idea. It's like a copyright. I do wonder if uh, the choice of uh, curtains uh, will affect the choice of plants that you would suggest for somebody's windy books. I well, I can match it up. I, you know, if it's pineapple, or, uh, kind of pineapple colour, I can do that. And if it's trees, I can do green and all that. And I can, if it's orange, I can do cactuses. And if it's flowers, I can do red and pinks and stuff. That is incredible. I have often heard that your books should match your curtains. Always, I've heard Always. Geraldine. Yes, yes. Anyway, Geraldine, I wonder if you would like to come back again on our TV show because I'm sure people at home really would like to order from you. Oh, that's brilliant. I was going to do a wee punt anyway, but thanks very much. I've really loved it. I'm so glad you asked me to do it. I've never done it before, so thanks very much. You were going to do a what? Uh, I, uh, I was punt, punting my, my, my windy box. That's wonderful. That producer has just said that's fantastic. Punt away, he says. Punt <laughs> away, Geraldine. Thanks very much. That's brilliant. So the wee, the, the wee Postle Windy Box Company, he's a phone. I'll put the number down the bottom. <laughs> that's great, Geraldine. Thanks for joining us now. Right, we'll see thanks you next very time. much. Thanks. See you next bye -bye. time. Bye-bye now. Cheery bye. Cheery bye is right, Carol. What a guest Geraldine was. Could you understand Geraldine, Carol? Some of it, actually. I understood the bit about matching your curtains to your box. I think Me that's too, quite... Carol. Me too. <clears throat> anyway. Carol, I wondered if you had noticed that there's been a lack of Boris Johnson this week. Have you noticed that, Carol? Well, it's not a bad thing if you ask me, but you know, people are commenting on it. Like, uh, what's it called on a, a hashtag? Hashtag. Where is Boris Johnson, Carol? Ooh, maybe he's at home. I'll tell you something, Carol. I wouldn't thank you for him. <laughs> oh, that's not what I've heard, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Generous. Um, yes. Anyway, <laughs> moving on from Boris Johnson, because frankly, let's just move on from him. We've yes. got some very special guests coming up next, Carol, and frankly. I think that you could do with their advice. They're our very own Wits TV beauty and healthcare specialists. It is Becky and Stacey. Becky and Stacey, are you there? Hi, Hi Kelly. Well, oh I'm, I'm a massive fan. Oh my God, same. <laughs> so we've been getting loads of messages. I'm Becky Beauty Queen. And I'm Stacey, skincare specialist. And the first message I've had is about how to get rid of my dark circles. Now, I've never actually had dark circles before, but I do have a few tips. So my favourite idea for this trick is to get a cup of tea. Now, you just make your tea the way you would, but make sure you add milk and sugar. So if you don't like sugar, tough luck. Do you know what I mean? So you make your tea and then once you've drank your tea, you take the tea bag out and set it for three days under the sun so that it dries and all the sugar and milk goes into the healing properties of the tea. So once you've done that for three days, you then put it under your eyes for an hour and your dark circles are gone. <laughs> so I've also got another tip that is just my personal favourite and this is the oatmeal bath. Now, I know this sounds really strange, but it's actually really, really normal. Me and Stacey have been having these baths for years, haven't we, Stacey? Yeah, for years. They're amazing. So, write this one down, because this one has to be very specific. So, for the oatmeal bath, you need 38 and a half cups of dried oats. You need 10 and a half kettles of boiling water, and you have a bath and a wooden spoon. So, you pour the dried oats in, you fill it with boiling water, stir it in with the big wooden spoon, and then cake yourself in it, and it's just great. It takes away any dry skin, and it stops you from itching your bits. So, it, it's just great. Now, anyway, over to you, Stacey. So guys, this week I've had loads of messages about how to get rid of wrinkles. So the way forward is dermaplaning. Such an easy procedure. All you need is like a scalpel, which you can get off the internet, or to DIY at home, a razor or any old knife out your kitchen will do. You shave a couple of layers off your face, obviously dodging the brows. It takes off the wrinkles and all the dead skin and it leaves your skin super smooth. There's sometimes a wee bit of bleeding, but that's completely normal. But my... Fave tip this week is the peppermint lip plump. 
for all you out there missing Botox, this one's for you. All you need is your fave lip gloss and 12 drops of peppermint oil. Mix it all together, spread it all over your lips, let it set in and it volumizes your lips. It actually works even better if you're, if you're allergic to peppermint. Becky tried that the other day and her lips blew up. It looked like they had just been done. It was amazing, wasn't it, Becky? It was fucking agony. <laughs> but I mean, beauty's pain and that's, that's the main oh. tip that we preach here. <laughs> yep. Well, I would just like to say to the viewers at home, sorry about that beep there from Becky. <laughs> Becky likes oh. to beep, doesn't she, Becky? <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Um, also, I would like to make an apology to you both, ladies. This often happens on live TV. I, in fact, introduced Stacey as a healthcare specialist. And indeed, oh. Stacey, you're a skincare skin specialist. Care. I do apologise. <laughs> Stacey, <laughs> Stacey, I wondered, um, darling, could you tell me uh, if... If you were going to um, take a knife to your face um, this evening, what sort of knife do you recommend? Well, I wouldn't recommend a butter knife because uh, it probably won't hack away at the dead skin properly. So probably one that's sharp, maybe like a steak knife. Thank that's, you. Just that's in what case. I'd use. And could I just ask girls, um, if one suffered from scrofulous hard skin all over the body, um, how long would one have to sit in a, a porridge bath be, to soothe and salve such a condition? I'm asking for a friend. Well, do you get itchy bits as well? Oh, my friend doesn't, you, she, she's not, yes, she does. Yeah, mm. um, well, if you get itchy bits and you've got hard skin, probably about three hours. So you need to set aside quite a day. Oh, I'll yeah. let her know. <laughs> thank you, girls. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Been so informative and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks thank you so us. much. This has been amazing. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye now. Bye. So, Carol, mm. I think maybe you've got three hours free tomorrow. You could try it then. Why don't we move on to our final guest of the evening? <laughs> In that case, I just hope you don't uh, scrape your entire face off later uh, <laughs> for the next episode. <laughs> yes, yes, Kerry, Kerry. Moving on, of course, we're now going over to Poetry Corner with our very special guest, Pussy Nanny. Pussy, are you there? Yes. Oh, hello, Pussy. And we were yes. wondering, do you have a poem for us this evening? Yes. And would you like to give us your poem? Yes. Lovely. Can I just start? Yes, that's what the norm do. <laughs> this, <laughs> excuse me, this is a poem dedicated to my late mother. It's called mother's mutterings of all the advice my mother gave these words will stay with me till i'm in my grave the best advice she did in part was never you trust to a fault i should have listened to all her words and all her warnings involving tubs but i laughed at her and i laughed hard and i fought it freely without regard in my thirties things did change my odor stared at smelling strange but one smelt like a bouquet of florals, and they stunk the lavy out for hours. A massive change in my routine, I was fit because my cat was green. My lure use, it did increase as I tried to fight this beast. As you get older, you will see your bill loses its elasticity. But once you knew it was a sheer thing, and it sneaks its way out of your ring. It becomes too hard to just predict the simple pain a simple pain I took and inflict. A tiny squirt, now that's no you, I go for bed, I follow through. When you're going out, heed my advice, and check your fart, not once, but twice. For all your dignity shall depart, the minute you let go a shark. Now this I do beseech you all, don't forget the advice from my trust at more. As I said to you right at the start, never give trust to your fart. Pussy, what yeah. a lovely uh, rendition. <laughs> Thank you. 
and 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 how is your mother now? She's dead. Oh, that's why that's why it's my late mother. Dead oh, I... my late mother. She's I dead. Do apologize for that. I do apologize for that. That's okay. And um, I didn't really like her. She wasn't a, <coughs> a nice person. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, oh, that's our producer Carol telling us that we really need to wrap the show up. Um, uh, uh, thank you so much, um, Pishy Panty, for joining us this evening. That's been absolutely wonderful. You. you really have. Yeah. Well, this has just been an amazing show. Oh, hasn't it, Carol? Hasn't it just? I think it has been amazing indeed. All that's left for us to say is a big fat thank you to our very special guests, Geraldine the Gardener. Becky and Stacey, our beauty and skincare specialists, and of course, we let's not forget Pussy, right Pussy, spots. Pussy Nanny. Uh, so thank time you very much from Carol Smithwood and myself. So it's good night from us. Hope to see you next week. Bye, girls. What's her face?